What's up guys, it's Cody here. And today in this video, we're gonna be talking about the iOS 10.2 jailbreak. Yes, the iOS 10.2 jailbreak has been released, if you guys haven't heard. Now this is, again, a beta jailbreak. So what that means is that this jailbreak is for developers only. But there's tweaks that work, users are downloading it, it's working on devices. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to do just that. But before I get into the actual process, I do wanna give you all the information that I think that you need to know before you jailbreak your device. So on the previous iOS 10.1.1 jailbreak, the reason that I didn't tell you guys how to jailbreak your device or show you how to do it or recommend that you do it is because you couldn't sign iOS 10.1.1 at the time. So right now you can sign iOS 10.2. Apple is still signing 10.2. So if something does go wrong when you're jailbreaking your device, you can always restore back to iOS 10.2. So having said that, Apple is not going to be signing iOS 10.2 for very much longer. So you definitely want to give this a shot right now if you are in fact going to download the jailbreak and try to jailbreak your device. So first and foremost, this does not work on the iPhone 7 or 7 Plus. So if you have either one of those devices, then don't even try this jailbreak because it's not going to work on 10.2. I'll put a list of all compatible devices right down there in the description. So if you guys are wondering if your device is compatible, just check the description and it'll be down in there. Next point, iOS 10.2.1 does not work. It's just iOS 10.2. So like I said, iOS 10.2 is still being signed. So even if you're on iOS 10.2.1, you can downgrade back to iOS 10.2, but that window is closing very quickly. Next, this is a semi-untethered jailbreak. So that's very similar to what we previously saw on iOS 9.3.1 and 9.3.3. This is basically where if you reboot your device, you're gonna have to basically repatch the kernel just by tapping on that jailbreak app and then letting it respring. It takes just a couple of seconds. It's not a big issue. You don't even have to you know, plug in your device to your computer or anything like that. Now, the next part is it's going to still have that seven-day certificate. So every week, after you reboot your device or anything like that, you are going to have to uh, re-jailbreak your device. So that means plugging it into the computer and then re-jailbreaking it. But the jailbreaking process I'm gonna show you here very shortly is very, very simple. Now again, before I show you this process, this is a beta jailbreak. So beta just means that it's probably a little bit unstable. Now a lot of users have already jailbroken their device, they're on 10.2, they're jailbroken and they're reporting that it is stable, they're downloading tweaks, developers are updating tweaks and creating new tweaks for 10.2. So the community is actually thriving right now in 10.2. So if you want to check it out, I'm definitely going to, then just follow this process that I'm about to show you. All right guys, so now I'm on my computer here and I'm going to show you how to jailbreak my iPhone 6. So you can see right here, if I go ahead and tap on settings, that I'm on iOS 10.2. So the only thing that you wanna do is make sure that your device is plugged into your computer, and then you wanna download two separate things. One of those is gonna be the IPA. So this is what we're going to actually self-sign and install on our uh, device right here. The second thing you wanna download is Cydia Impactor. So you can see right here, there's gonna be links to both of these uh, in the description, so you can just click on that. And you're basically just go to this website right here and you're gonna to wanna to download the IPA, which will be right here. I might even just put a direct link to it so you don't have to go to this website and just download it directly. The next thing is you wanna download City Impactor from here. Basically, all you wanna do is just select what operating system you're on here. So Mac, uh, Windows, Linux, uh, 32 and 64 bit. So just click on that, download, install it, and then you should be good to go. So I've already downloaded and installed both of these. So I have the IPA right here and I also have uh, City Impactor right here. So you just want to up, open this up basically and you want to make sure that your device is recognized right here. So if it says, you know, whatever your name is, iPhone, then that means your device is recognized. That means it's ready to go. So you'll see right here, all we have to do is click and drag the IPA over, let go on top of the City Impactor window, and then sign in to uh, your iTunes account. I'm just going to use this account right here. Click OK, and then you want to type in your password right here. Click OK, and it should go ahead and self-sign this IPA and install it onto your device. Once it does that, you can see that it just goes really quick. It doesn't take much time at all. So we're going to go ahead and come over here, and you can see Yalu 102. So if we tap on that, it says untrusted developer. So what we're going to do is go over to settings, and we're going to be in general. Scroll all the way down here to device management 
tap on trust the iTunes account that you actually uh, signed into when you installed this and then we're gonna come over here to Yalu or however you pronounce this open it up and it says this may slow down your phone the developer of this app needs to update and improve its compatibility just tap OK that's not a big deal and then we're gonna tap on go so you tap on go and what this is going to do is it probably take maybe 10 seconds or so and then it's going to reboot or not reboot but respring your device if you get this little pop-up that's fine go ahead and tap done on it and then once it re springs your device that's when Cydia is on your phone so let's go ahead and give it just another couple of seconds you can see that it's respringing right now and it should come up pretty quick All right, so it looks like it is an actual reboot, not a respring, because that took quite a bit of time. So let's go ahead and swipe over here. We'll just tap not now. Doesn't matter if we have a SIM. All right, so there is Cydia. So we're gonna go ahead and tap on that. Let's see if it loads up. And it looks like we are good, guys. This thing is loaded up and ready to use. So make sure that you're downloading the correct IPA. I was downloading the wrong one uh, previously and it was just not working. So if it's not working, make sure that you check the link in the description below. I'll put a direct link to the IPA that you need to be using in order to jailbreak iOS 10.2. All right, guys, that's all I got for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, make sure you smack that like button. Of course, if you guys want to see, you know, like a top tweet video or a perfect jailbroken setup video, let me know by hitting the like button on this video as well as leaving a comment in the comments below. Just let me know what it is exactly you want to see. All right, guys, if you want to see more of my videos, make sure you subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one.